Hello and uh, welcome back. In this exercise, we're going to go ahead and add people to the rendering. What I mean is, like, let me get to this view. We want to add people to the rendering. How we do that? All right. First, I'm going to go to the first floor. I want to do a rendering in here. Let me make a section view. Or I can just do the, uh, take a shortcut, use the camera. For now, let's say I want to get a view from here. And okay, let's add some people in here. Go back to the first floor. Okay, from here, uh, go to the tab where it says insert, click insert. Once you hit insert, your ribbon changes. Come up here where it says load Autodesk family, click on that. And then you're going to come back here. This is the last thing I did. Let's see. She should come up with something like that. Then type in RPC. Enter. And you're going to see you have these uh, options to add into your uh, uh, rivet uh, project. So we're going to add female and male. Up here, click the check mark. And then I had both of them checked right there. Then click load. Once it's loaded, come back to the architect tab. From architect tab, go to component, click on component. And when you click on component and property palette, you can see you have uh, hit the drop down menu. We got uh, two male, J and Laren, and then uh, we have Alex too, and then we have in a female we have Kathy, Cynthia, Florence, Yanian, Tina, and Lisa. So pick any of these people. Let's pick uh, Florence and put her right here in the kitchen. And then we're going to pick uh, a male. Dwayne is good and put it right there and if you want a third person that's why not for good luck put a third person in there too uh, how about uh, Tina and put Tina right there you can go ahead and uh, let me click double escape or get out of it if you want to go ahead and rotate them so they're facing the other way go to modify tab From Modify tab, select this right here to rotate. So click on this, and then you have the rotation. Then you want to rotate them this way. Let's rotate them, face them this way. Click that. And let's see what we have. Go to the 3D view, and there they are. These two on top of each other, but uh, let's move them back this way a little bit. But let's learn to see how they look like anyway. So where they are, you can move them around and uh, so they're not on top of each other. So let's go ahead and click rendering. See how they look like. There we go. And that's it. There was really nothing to it. Have fun.